Right, so I finally, finally got round to wrapping the bananas. And again, controversial, I know, but I've always wrapped them when I bothered to wrap them. A lot of times I don't. But after last winter, I thought I might give them a wrap. So this is plastic, this is bubble wrap. And I've done it before, never had a problem. And what I tend to do is, you know, just get a, a couple of foot width and wrap that round a few times. And obviously the length is, the, the, the height is the height of the banana. But what I do tend to do is leave a bit extra over. So we've got about six inches there flapping about. That is just due to the fact that if you get a mild day or a mild spell should I say that is going to want to grow and if you you know wrap up around the top and you know tie it off or something like that that's just gonna the new growth is just gonna go all wonky and rot off anyway so <clears throat> I leave them open at the top just to let the any heat and moisture out because again on a sunny day you know plastic that is going to warm up so we're going to look at trying to let that escape and like say any sort of particular growth coming out um can come straight out of the bag and that'll just get frosted off anyway so that'll just keep it straight rather than sort of coming out all wonky and whatever so that is basically what i've done so we've got the um sicanensis Bengal tiger. It's about three, four foot of trunk on there. So I'd like to keep that. And there was a little pup around it as well. So I obviously left a bit of a bubble wrap open around the bottom and sort of just to protect the roots a little bit as well. We've got a standard Sicanensis here, which is the the B and M cheapy. Um, I think it's only about six fifty, but um, that's worth you know protecting it. See if we can get that through. Then we've got the, the clump of moves of Bajou here. And I was running out of bubble wraps. This is just sort of all stuff I, I'd saved from last year when I used to bubble wrap the uh, summer house. But I ain't doing that this year. So I had a, a couple of rolls, sort of cut up rolls. So with the, the last few bits I had, we've got, um, I think there's three trunks of moves of Bajou in there. So I thought, well, let's just roughly wrap it around and uh, see what happens with that so that is let's say there's three pseudo stems there so what we're looking to do is i haven't wrapped them all individually i just put all the way around all three so there's a big air gap in the middle and i could stuff that full of leaves if i was that bothered about them but to be honest we are coastal here and we don't really get down low you know, we don't really see much more than minus three or four. Obviously last year we did. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing there. Bubble wrap. And I did have a bit left. So what I've done is I've... This trunk here is actually the tetrapanic. So the, the leaves eventually gave up after the frost we had the other week and sort of started to brown. So I just cut them off. Wrapped the uh, trunk. And what we can see is there's actually two trunks in there so the one on the left is the original trunk which was a lot taller but we lost a lot of height on that last year and it never grew back from that and it just grew a new trunk from the roots so the new trunk again maybe about three and a half foot seems a lot thicker than the old trunk um yes yeah, so i think that's going to be worth protecting rather than start from scratch we do get a cold spell like we had last winter all right so that is what i've done with the bananas um let me know if you use uh bubble wrap or plastic bags i know some of you do i've never had an issue you can go down the route it depends on how cold you get in your winters you know if you get a really cold winter you probably want more insulation this is really just sort of a, a light frost protection rather than proper insulation um so yeah i mean in really cold areas you can go to the extreme of making a cage and and uh, getting straw in there and all leaves or whatever but yeah this thing like a lot of trouble for me and we don't really need it 
so that is it that's what i've done they'll be like that until it starts to warm up in spring and i haven't tied them i've just used sellotape because sellotape sticks quite well obviously to plastic uh, bubble wrap anyway so i'll just uh just wrap um, sellotape around a few times up and down the trunk just to keep it all solid so it shouldn't blow off in the wind um we'll leave it there thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one